Hi friends, in this we are going to discuss about the DNA isolation. This procedure come to the introduction of uh, DNA isolation. DNA isolation is a process of purification of DNA from sample using a combination of physical and chemical method. And the first DNA was isolated by Frederick Mischer in 1869. The method used to isolate DNA are dependent on, dependent on source, age, and size of the sample. And the, in general, the aim to separate the DNA present in the nucleus of the cell from the other cellular components. Isolation of DNA is needed for genetic analysis, which is used for scientific, medical, and forensic purposes. As I said, source of uh, uh, DNA are uh, basically it can isolate it from any living or dead organisms. Usually, common source for DNA isolations include for blood, hair, sperm, bones, nails, tissues, blood stains, saliva, cheeks, epithelial cells, urine, paper cards. Uh, paper cards are uh, used for the sample collections and you can extract from. Uh, plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, from all those things also we can extract DNA, isolate DNA from them. The stored sample can come from archived tissue samples, frozen blood or tissue, exhumed bones or tissues, and ancient human and animal plant samples. This is a simple procedure. First we need to uh, cut the tissues and and again we have to grind with the uh, uh, pistle and mortar with the help of uh, C-tap buffer and liquid nitrogen C-tap C-tap is a extraction chemical which is prepared and after after grinding well grinding the, in the pistle and mortar uh, fine fine grinding it's liquid uh, it, it should occur like a liquid appear should be liquid and after that correct the homogeneous mixture in a tube and the boil the sample for 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and centrifuge the samples after centrifuging collect the supernatant because after centrifuging the solid materials will be uh, remained here in the tube and the superintendent is available liquid uh, above the sample. Uh, in this, we are going to collect this supernatant and, and we are going to add chilled ethanol for that. After that, again, we are going for centrifugation. The seventh step. And after uh, centrifugation, collection of the pellet and rip, uh, remove the superintendent. Because this we can see that pellet. In this portion, its uh, pellet is there. DNA pellets will be there. We can see that easily after doing centrifugation and we have to collect these pellets and remove the supernatant and for this we have to add 70% ethanol 70% ethanol and again centrifuge uh, to the pellet and after add TE buffer TE buffer to that solution uh, for the storage buffers this is brief uh, procedure for extraction of DNA and as I said simply first taking the leaf sample and crushing uh, in a pistol mortar and uh, keeping it for a boiling, a boiling for 30 minutes at 60 degrees Celsius again centrifuge and collect the supernatant and add chilled ethanol and again centrifuge and after that collect the pellet collect the pellet and add 70% ethanol again and again we have to centrifuge and add uh, to that pellet at the buffer and these are chemicals required for the um, DNA extraction procedure that is CDA, phenol, chloroform, isoamyl alcohol, isopropanol, ethanol, RNAs, CTAB, NACL, SDS, PVP, beta mercaptan ethanol. Uh, if you want to uh, know the importance of the all these chemicals uh, please watch my 
other video for this importance of edtf you know chloroform because these chemicals are used for many um, processes like uh, uh, like uh, cell wall degradation and removal of phenols uh, removal of other rnas and uh, other lipids all those we have to remove and we have to extract only the dna from the rape sample so that we have we we'll use uh, all these chemicals for the uh, for the uh, for uh, if you want to know uh, extra about these chemicals please view other video of mine these are the some of the experimental protocols which is how we have to prepare the CTAB buffer CTAB buffer contains CTAB, NSCO, TRISHCL, EDTA and double distilled water this is for 500 ml we have to prepare stock, stock. As I said, that uh, procedure. In this we have gloss. Uh, these are protocols that approximately 100 mg of plant material selected and crushed in crystalline water. And add, we are adding PVP while grinding. And we are going to add 5 micro, 500 microliter of CTAB buffer and 1 microliter of beta mercaptan ethanol. And transfer the solution of 1.5 ml centrifuge tube as a centrifuge tube. Incubate for 30 minutes, 30, 30 minutes. 60 degrees Celsius boiling water and in the film would add 500 microliter of chloroform or isoamyl alcohol 24 is to 1 mix by inversion until the milky st structure is obtained do not vortex or shear uh, because it will shear the DNA centrifuge 12,000 rpm for 5 minutes after that pipette out the aqueous space Transfer the clean centrifuge tube using the pipette, avoid particulate matter. I repeat the 5th and 6th and experiment and add 50 microliter of 3M uh, NaOCl sodium acetate and add 330 uh, microliter of cold isopropanol. Close the tube and shake quickly by inverting 3 to 4 times and centrifuge 12,000 rpm for 15 minutes. DNA will settle at the bottom of the pellet. Discard superintendent. As I said, discard superintendent. We have to take take the pellet. Wash the DNA with the DNA pellet. This is called. You can observe in uh, while doing experiment. Mm, DNA pellet. The ethanol. 500 microliter of of uh, 70 percent ethanol. Close the tube and turn it and rinse the wall. Rinse the wall. Centrifuge 1000 to 12000 rpm for five minutes. Remove ethanol in the uh, delicately with a pipette while keeping an eye on the pellet. Repeat 12 and 13 ex third 13 step. Remove as much of ethanol as you can with a pipette. Don't disturb the pellet. Keep the tubes open. Lid in the incubator. Dry the pellet. There is no much. There must be no residual ethanol at the end process. Dissolve the pellet. 50 microliter of T buffer. Store at 4 degrees Celsius or minus 20 degrees Celsius. So brief. Uh, again, this is a brief. Uh, uh, procedure for to isolate DNA. Thank you. Please subscribe our channel.